My name is Brittany Free, and I'm an artist based in North Boulder. I work out of the Crowd Collective, which is off of Broadway, and it's a shared studio space that roughly houses um, around 10 artists. Um, my work primarily consists of resin, pigments, and ink, and it tends to be very bright, very cheerful, happy, um, which is exactly how I want someone to feel when they experience my work for the first time. So COVID-19 has definitely taken its toll on the scene for local artists. Um, you know, many of us normally rely on public events to gain exposure and to sell our work. And of course, this year, all of those public events like First Fridays, the Open Studios Tour, which is in October, um, the Firefly Market, local art fairs, all of these things have been canceled. Um, so it's left far fewer avenues um, for exposure to show our work and to sell our work. My COVID-19 work project consists of leaving free artwork in public places around Boulder. So I start off by photographing the artwork and I put the image on social media with clues to its exact location. So recently I've left art on Pearl Street in Chautauqua Park around Wonderland Lake. Um, so more notable places, I'm not gonna be leaving anything at the top of Bear Peak. I'm not getting up there. Um, so I leave a note with the artwork explaining that it's both free and sanitized. And I ask that whoever finds it um, lets me know in some way, whether it be social media or an email, um, they let me know that it's found and then I can update Instagram and Facebook saying it's been claimed. And yeah, that's the gist of it. I essentially leave free artwork out for someone to come and find and hopefully it brightens their day. And uh, yeah, we could just all use a little more of that right now. Um, but since I started this, I've had such a great response from um, our community of artists. There's other people that are in Boulder. There's a few artists in Longmont who are all now doing the same thing and are also leaving out free artwork. So they'll call it Art Drops or Free Art Friday or there's all kinds of names for it. Um, but it's just been really cool to see other people jumping in and doing their own form of these art scavenger hunts um, in their own neighborhoods. I've got some really cool responses. So one of the best ones was this kid wrote to me and um, he was like 14 or 15 and he said, my mom was on a hike this morning and she found one of your pieces, but she doesn't know how to use social media. So she asked if I'd send you a message and she's so excited about it. And he sent me a picture of the work and she had, she had already hung it up within an hour, like on top of the uh, kitchen counters, it was hanging up. So that was really cool to get that kind of response back almost immediately. So. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to the Office of Arts and Culture um, for putting these work projects together. It's been a great way for us to contribute to the community and just to stay connected at the same time. 